<clears throat> All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I do have a very long and boring story about why I'm sitting where I'm sitting and why the camera is where it is, but I'm going to spare you all of those boring details and we're just going to jump into what we're talking about today and that is the Geek Vape Aegis Legend mod. And just as a word of warning, I'm going to be using the words rugged a lot. I'm going to be using the word beefy a lot. And I might even throw the word honkin' in there every once in a while. But yeah, it's the Geek Vape Aegis Legend Dual 18650. High power, very beefy, very rugged, very waterproof and dustproof mod as well. Now there honestly isn't a whole hell of a lot to this mod, so I don't feel like we need to do a full uppy closey, but I do want to vape it. So I'm going to throw some batteries in here. I'm going to throw an atomizer on here. First things first, the door just kind of pops open, it's, it's spring-loaded, so you flip this little switch and it just kind of flops open. Ha-ha! It's fairly clearly marked on the inside here, positive and negative. Of course, you want the positive touching the positive and the negative touching the negative, so we'll put our batteries in like that and then we snap it shut. What? And then we snap it shut. It's a very typical, you know, what we're used to. Five clicks on, five clicks off. So you give it one, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna see like the Geek Vape boot up screen. And then it's gonna take you to the main page where you can page the main screen where all of the information that you need is. It's gonna show you your wattage, your resistance, uh, the volts you're using, the amps you're using from your battery, as well as that ever, ever helpful puff counter. Which look, I'm not trying to discount the validity of a puff counter. I've never used it. I don't feel the need to use it. I feel like it's kind of silly, but I know there are people out there that do actually uh, use the puff counter. And if nothing else, it's a good like odometer of how much you've been vaping on a particular mod. Going to be attaching this uh, Reload Vapor XRDA. This is loaded up with uh, Ponyon Acid as well as some Fiends frame staples in here. They came out to right around 0.13, so at 100 watts on the Geek Vape Age Dude, it gives me plenty, plenty of power. Plenty of power. So this particular mod doesn't necessarily have like a menu system that you go into, but what you're gonna be doing is kind of swapping between the different modes that it has. So three clicks on this very swoopy curved fire button, one, two, three, and you're gonna see this part, a highlight, kind of lights up up there. And then you can use this to kind of navigate where you need to go. There's temperature controls for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. There's wattage, there is bypass, which is parallel bypass. It comes out to right around 4.2 volts and there's also a curve setting in there as well. Oops, I lost it. One, two, three. There's a curve setting as well that some people like. I don't like it. I've never used it. I've never been a fan of like curve settings on a mod. So we're going to get this back to wattage mode. So we click it on wattage mode and it's going to go down and highlight your resistance where you can lock your resistance. If you click it again, it's going to show you your puff count and you can reset your puff count. To get out of this, you just give it a long press. The highlight's going to go away. And now when you press the button, it's going to fire it. As you can see, the Aegis itself is real beefy. I said it. It's real rugged. I said it again. This is all really strong aluminum. This is leather right here that has a little bit of a squishy sort of feel to it. And then you have this thick rubber that goes all the way around the mod. Just rubber for days for like, you know, added shock value. This button is also a really quick responsive button and it is super, super clicky. It looked a little weird to me at first, the way that it was swooped out like that. I thought for a second like, oh, maybe you push it down, like you slide it down to fire it. That is not the case. It's just a straight, very clicky press right there. Up down buttons are very much, very much the same way. Nice and clicky. And I honestly think I got the least attractive attractive Geek Vape Aegis in my possession. This is just the black on black, but they make it with, you know, this part is maybe brushed aluminum, this part is orange, they make this part in brown leather, and, you know, they have like camo and digital camo. They have a whole bunch of different colors and, and variations, stylings on it. Mine is cool, it's fine, it's just black on black, but with that said, I find it a little bit, I don't know, boring looking? And when I say beefy and rugged, 
about that mod, I mean it in the exact definition of those words. This thing is beefy and rugged. The Aegis Legend in no way feels like, uh, like a cheap, Chinese product in any capacity. This feels like something, not necessarily like buy it for life, but this is one of those like buy it for a really long time. I have tried a multitude of like kind of cheap Chinese mods that even when you get it, even when you hold it, when they're brand new, you kind of look at it and you go, well, all right, this might last me a few months. The Aegis Legend just feels like it would last you for years. It is a serious mod that really does feel like it was just built to last. It is dustproof, it is waterproof, and it's not waterproof in the sense that like you can just take this with you when you go swimming or something like that. It's waterproof in the sense that like, oops, I, I dropped it in a swimming pool or like, oops, I dropped it in a hot tub or it's sitting on the table and like a cup falls over and oops, you, you, you know, you poured water all over it. Water's not gonna get in here and ruin anything. And I kind of genuinely thought when I first heard that the Aegis legend was waterproof, I was kind of like, well, that's a, I mean, that's a real gimmicky thing, right? Like, do we need waterproof mods? Like, are we all suddenly going scuba diving with our vape gear? And you know, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, yeah, okay, well there is, there are times, there are situations when you need like a, a waterproof or, or dust proof, you know, reliable, rugged mod. I, I look at this Aegis Legend the way that I would look at like a hexome, you know what I mean? Just a, a very dependable, reliable, high performance, rugged mod. And I promise that I'm going to try to stop using the word rugged, but it is, it's so rugged. Okay, that was literally the last time. So a few things I really like about this device, love that clicky button. That fire button is just real clicky, real responsive. It feels like it just hits right away. There is zero lag at all. There are some regulated mods out there on the market where like you press the button and you get that like slight little delay, that slight little annoying delay. Such is not the case with the Aegis Legend. It is, it is fast and responsive. It feels like a high performance mod. I also really enjoy how comfortable this is to hold in my hands. I have, you know, regular, normal guy sized hands, I guess, and this fits in my hand. I mean, flawlessly. I'm a person that likes to fire the button on my mods with my finger and this is very, very conducive to holding it like this and firing that button with your finger. I also actually really like the inclusion of the bypass mode on this. When this is in bypass mode and you got two good 18650s in here, it's gonna hit a lot like a parallel box mod. It gives you right around 4.2 volts. It's actually 4.15 volts, but with these frame staples in here being at a 0.13, running it in bypass mode, it, it's perfect. It, it feels perfect and gives me tons of power. There's not much that you can fault the Aegis Legend on. It's an all around, again, I can't believe I'm gonna say it. It's an all around, real, reliable, rugged, beefy, beefy mod. The few gripes I have with it are aesthetically, it's just not that pretty. It's like, it's, it's like the Jeep of vape mods. It's not real pretty to look at, but it's very, very functional. The screen itself is fine. It's not my favorite. It tells me everything I need to know, and it looks fine doing it. It's just not the prettiest of displays I've seen. Geek Vape is one of those companies that really hasn't done a lot in the display category. They've never really had any really pretty displays like a lot of other companies have, like that Inokin display, like the Smoant displays, and even like the new Vaporesso displays all look much, much cooler than this, much cleaner, and just overall much more pretty. It does have a few little weird quirky things that happens with it. Um, when you're using it and you hold down the up and down buttons, the plus and minus buttons, that will lock your wattage into place so you can't, you know, accidentally adjust your wattage up and down. But what that also locks into place is the fire button. So if you have your wattage locked, you won't be able to switch through the modes until you unlock your wattage. 
So this is sitting right now in wattage mode at 100 watts with the wattage locked. And if I do one, two, three, it's it's never going to be able to switch modes on me until I unlock the wattage and the little lock sign disappears. And now, one, two, three, now I can be able to switch the modes back and forth. Again, that's not necessarily like a deal breaker. It's just a little quirk, I guess, within the software, something to be aware of. There is a well covered USB here on the top as well. It's for updating your firmware and Geek Vape also says that you can charge through it, but I personally wouldn't do that. If you're gonna charge your 18650 batteries, always charge them outside of the mod in a proper, you know, a18650 charger. I just don't trust like onboard USB charging systems like outside of the DNA boards. I don't know if I really trust USB charging systems. I feel much safer taking my batteries out, which is very little effort and throwing them on a charger. So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands for something like the Geek Vape Aegis Legend. Uh, maybe a little bit clicking around the internet. I found it anywhere from 60 to $70 with about $65 being like the median price for this device. So there's a little bit of vape budget hands involved. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape with, is the Aegis Legend something I would seek out and buy right away? Ah, uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if this is something I would seek out and buy like right away, but I can think of multiple times in my life when something like this, something like the Jeep of mods, that this is this beefy and this, and this you know, uh, rugged and this waterproof and this dustproof, I can think of a lot of times when I would have liked to have had a mod like that. You certainly can't take like, you know, a, a multi hundred dollar stabilized wood mod, you know, out camping into the forest. No, if I was doing that, there's no other mod I would rather take than the Geek Vape Aegis Legend. I really feel like it's that durable. This is just a rough and tumble, rough and tumble, Nick? It's just a real rugged mod. Okay, I promise that's that's the last time I'm gonna say rugged. Anyway, it is what it is. Look at this thing. It's it's a honker. It's a big beefy honking mod that will just perform and perform and perform for you. Anyway, enough rambling from me. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow links to any external vape sites anymore or external shopping vaping sites, I should say, anymore. So you're gonna have to do some Google Foo, but this thing is readily available on a lot of the major retailers' websites. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeehaw, let's keep on vaping.